What's up geeks this is me Samir and welcome back to IGB we all know the popularity of iPhone in today's day and age well it is a boon and a bane as well because due to such popularity of iPhone copycats emerge in the market pretending to be an iPhone find my iPhone and in today's video let's see if you have genuine iPhone or some parts are missing of your iPhone or worst case scenario you have the fake one so if you're in the market to buy iPhone, just check the IMEI number on the box. Go to IMEI.info, input the number and then the site will show the information regarding that particular model you have the IMEI number of. But if you have an iPhone which is open box or refurbished, then my friend, you need to cross check the IMEI number of your phone and on the box, they should match certainly. And to check IMEI number on your iPhone, you need to go into the settings, general, about, scroll down and there you have it or simply you can also go into the dialer press star hash 06 hash and there you have it guys another way to find out IMA number on your iPhone so now once we have verified IMA number next thing you need to do is check serial number and model number to check if your iPhone is authentic original or not you need to copy serial number by going into the settings general about and there you have it copy the serial number now go to a browser open Check coverage.apple.com, paste the serial number, put the captcha and submit it. And there you have it guys, you will have the information regarding the purchase date and if this iPhone is covered in warranty or not. Also you can know if the iPhone is refurbished or brand new by just looking at the serial number. How? Let me tell you. So if the serial number starts with M, then it is a brand new original iPhone. And if it starts with F, then you have a refurbished unit. And if it is N, then the current model has been replaced because of a broken one due to a service request. And lastly, if it is P, then P stands for personalization so that iPhone might have an engraving on it. Next thing which you need to do is take a close look at the physical appearance of your iPhone. Some unique physical element makes iPhone distinctive and you should check first volume rockers, mute switch or action button and of course power button aka side button and of course an iPhone should have an apple on its back and that too a half eaten one and also you might need to check the port as well so if you are buying the latest iPhone that is iPhone 15 series make sure it has type C port and if you are buying the prior ones make sure they have lightning ports and also you need to take a keen look at the screws right next to charging port that should be pantalope screws and finally take a close look at camera modules frame and of course notch aka dynamic island big iphones often have a weaker construction but do have a same design and that is the reason i'm making this video and if you think i'm doing a good work so make sure you like this video as well so now you need to make sure that the iphone shouldn't have any missing parts and the build should be really good next thing which you need to ensure is your iphone's internal parts hasn't been changed some report shows us that the customer was scanned by service the iphone though the iphone was original outer body was original but the parts in it were not so if the parts aren't original you might miss out on some features crucial ones in fact so let's check it out if they work on your iphone or not so first thing which you need to turn on is true tone as this setting will only work if you have original apple iphone screen second thing which you need to turn on is night shift as it indicates that the light sensors are working just fine on your iPhone and lastly make sure you have the right haptic feedback otherwise the motor has been changed internal parts could be changed for sure also if you have iPhone 11 or later running on iOS 15.2 or later and that specific iPhone has gone through a service replacement then you can also check it out by going into the settings general and about and in the parts and service history you will have that part which has been replaced and if it says unknown then my friend you don't have that original part in your iphone next thing we need to check network connectivity so iphone comes with some proprietary technology like uh, airdrop or airplay you need to make sure that these two specific function works on your iphone otherwise it is a fake one as fake iPhone doesn't have Apple tech and won't be able to use AirDrop or AirPlay. Next, we can sync the new iPhone using Quick Start. Okay, to check if the iPhone is real or fake, you might need to connect it to iTunes and if iTunes doesn't recognize it, then my friend, there's a high chance that you might have a fake iPhone. So if the iPhone cannot install iOS backup from the cloud or cannot sync settings and data from your Mac, then my friend, there's a high possibility that you might have a fake iPhone. Lastly, you can also try setting up the new iPhone using Quick Start as if that doesn't work out, then 
it is for sure a fake one. And of course, iPhone comes with iOS, which is again a proprietary operating system of Apple and no other manufacturer could use that. So if your iPhone doesn't have iOS and if you see some Android features, then my friend, it is iOS skin running on Android. So simply it is a fake iPhone. So make sure your iPhone is running iOS authentic one in fact. And to do that, you need to go into the settings app, general and software update. And if you see anything suspicious regarding OS updates, then you know it is a fake one. Also, while setting up a new iPhone, the iPhone will ask you for an Apple ID. And if it doesn't ask for Apple ID, if it asks for Google ID or something else, duh, it is a fake one. And now we need to look for system apps. If your iPhone doesn't have system apps like App Store, Safari, Files, because these are some crucial apps, even iOS cannot delete them. So if these apps are not present on your iPhone, it could be jailbreak or a fake. So if you're sure about your iPhone that it is an original one, only missing those specific apps on it, then you need to restore the original firmware by enabling DFU mode. And if you want to know how to enable DFU mode, well, I have made a dedicated video. I'll put that link into the iCard section. Make sure you check it out. So now let's check if Siri does get activated on your iPhone or not, because again, Siri is an in-house stack of Apple and no other manufacturer could use that. So try to activate it. But if it doesn't get activated, some other thing gets activated like Google Assistant or Alexa or Bixby, then it is quite obvious that you might have a fake iPhone. And lastly, if you still believe that your iPhone is a fake one, then you need to take that iPhone to the Apple Store or Apple service provider, which can figure it out for you if that is a fake one or a real one. Your iPhone will go under diagnostic test performed by their specialist and they will tell you if it is fake or not, if you should be worried about it or not. Having said that, be aware of iPhone scams and spend your hard-earned money wisely. Speaking of wisely, another wise thing to do is to subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any amazing crucial content like this. And if you like what you see, then make sure you press the like button and do let me know in the comment section if you have ever seen a fake iPhone or not. And on this note, this is me Samir signing off. I will see you in the next one. Till then, Taras here. Bye-bye. Do not get scammed, my friend. Teri to bola? Oh,